You have to ignore the fact that my hair looks like I've just gone through a bush, but I'm here at Wally Model Railway Exhibition on the uh, Saturday I am. It did take about 15 minutes to, to come in. Bear in mind this is technically the advanced priority entry. So God knows what how busy it's going to be like when they let the uh, non-advanced ticket holders in in about 10 minutes. It took about 15 minutes to actually queue to get in because I actually did arrive at the start of the event this year because when I came here last year, I actually didn't arrive until like an hour into the event. But I want to get my money's worth. I'm going to be here for the Saturday for the full just under nine hours until 6 p.m. I might leave I might leave to go get food though, I might get something in there, I don't know. But let's show you around the uh, model railway exhibition and see what they got here for 2023. Well we're at ATD models and they've got a DB60044. It's a cool. Cool little set. Very, very cool. Right, we've got the D to C concept stand. Might try and squeeze in. So you got all the dog box for 153. Right, I've done a lap and I've uh, made it back to exclusive Calvary X models and we did actually got this event, I swear this event's busy this year if compared to last year we did actually get a shot of 50s the 034 area I'll come back round and done a lap before I start recording we have got some Hornby uh, low coast to buy down here I will actually have a look at the actual Hornby uh, stand later on, but it's really busy down there at the moment. I might wait for the block to make the way forward and then go down there a little bit later on. I've honestly never seen this event so busy. It's practically shoulder to shoulder in here. Damn, I'm sure last year was quiet. But then again, I am here on the Saturday this year, so maybe the Saturday is busier than the, the uh, Sunday. Well, I don't remember seeing Sherwood models Nottingham here last year. I don't think they've got any, uh, no, I don't think they've got any actual, uh, model railway displays to show us, but they have got a, uh, a lot of, uh, model railway trains to buy. Uh, absolute absolute specialist in model signals at the, uh, the uh, model railway event this year. I'm loving that sign already. And the uh, station master hat. And they have got a uh, 37 down there. We give ourselves two months lead time. You can change the uh, signal with this uh, switch. Amber, double amber, um, red, so green, that yeah, is I'd forever. Well within... I've got wheel fine scale and do haven harbour, a flavour of the seafood bunch.
live stream a gorge road show. Look at Thomas. I knew it wasn't going to be long until we saw one of them. That one's even got the stats of vehicle. Garden Railway Specialties are going to be here for the event too. Damn, these are massive. This one's massive, and I mean massive. Ooh. Keep that thing kick in the bow here. The hoops there. Can you zoom in a bit more? This has got to be one of my favourites. Get all the footage in. Well, it's everyone's favourite, the pacer. And then the class 50, 50 zero forty. Look, it's me. Fifty quid. I'm tempted. I really am tempted. I'm tempted. What else have they got on here? I may or may not have just accidentally reserved one of them signs. The one that says Sam's room on it. But it's a smaller version. Don't don't ask how much I paid for it either. Nah, kid, I'll tell you. It wasn't too bad actually. Forty pounds. Early Christmas present to myself. I've got to go pick up after lunch though, because it's not ready yet. They get them specially made. Right, Hornby's a little bit quieter compared to Ali, so let's have a look with their display.
So once I've got a train, a DCC train, I'm good to go. Once you've got the DCC train, once you've got that part, you need to power all the way Oh, we've got a TP 800. The 800? The 802. Show it for you. In real life, the walls were decorated. What else they got on the display? Absolutely. That's the advantage of my two pieces. The Chicks models and the Hornby and that. They'll work. And how does that look? Do you think it's easier? Well, we'll be able to form the Hornby match. Hello, have you? Is that a woman named Sophie? That's it. Class 33, 33, 0, 1, 2. I also love the uh, little road bridges above and all the detail that goes into it. That's what makes it, in my opinion. But here, I'd love to hear everybody else's thoughts in the comments. Honestly, I've done um, two laps now and uh, Hereford Model Railway Cubs still heaving. In fact, it's more heaving than the Hornby stand now. Hornby's actually uh, quieting down a bit. M m more people are spread out now. The event's been open for like the best part of two hours almost. One oh, eight 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 uh, no, it's, it's coming and with Big Bertha, it's coming with the water department now as well. Do not charge for it. Um, because we've got the another TMC one uh, that's on the drawing board so which we haven't announced TMC yet. That will also come with an example of what you can get. Well, I do remember this stand from last year. Train tech, model technology made easy. Network rail van. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're cool about Lunch Time. Oh, the engine. 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 Oh, the Good job you actually speak to the uh, people working at the stands because they know more than you. Well, if those are everyone's information, there's the floor plan. I honestly do feel like I missed stuff. Although everywhere is busy, so it is hard to uh, not miss stuff. I did get a show guide though for a pound, which was helpful. But well, this is the guest steam locomotive they bought from the Seven Valley Railway. Old oh, Stoke Manor Fund, 1973. What are, what are numbers though? Because I don't recognise this one. I'm going to get a photo of it though. Try and get a decent photo of the camera because my photos of the camera haven't been coming out that good today. Well, Great Western 5164. 
Oh, Stool Manor. Well, there's a raffle. Five pound per ticket, ten pound for free tickets. I'm probably not going to do a raffle this year, though. I've still not actually ridden the Seven Valley Railway. I need to do that. That's definitely on the list for next year. But definitely want to do that uh, next year. Let's go and have a look what they've got in their stand. Customer calendars. <laughs> Fudge. Oh, you want to put it in the charity? Socks. Notepad, pen, postcards. Coffee flask. What have they got round the corner? Signage. Ooh. Now that's cool. Seven Valley Railway Monopoly. That's really cool. Oh, and lanyards too. Now this is called cool. Manchester Model Tramway Group. Let's try and get some uh, shots of these. We've got the Fairbourne Major Railway stand. So we've got a lot of stuff in here, key rings, place cards. What's that they got? Cool. Not forgetting the Welsh Dragon, because obviously it's in Wales. Oh, we've got five scale truck building systems. Right, if I just fight my way in, Fogcast Foundry Limited. They got some more signage. That overrated steel locomotive, the Flying Scotsman. Neville Hill, Louise. Cross country high speed farewell. Right, look at these uh, model houses. Surprisingly, not too badly priced. Few of them are sold out. Yeah, not too bad. Well, I know we definitely haven't had a look at this one, so look a bit closer to home for me. Leventon World Model Railway Society. So let's have a look at this one. Classic Zerk and Pendolino, that brings memories for when I was younger. Because I grew up with Virgin. Up there. I can move further along now, people. Right, this is a test track they've got going on. Shooting up the track at speed. At speed. So, at the uh, Leamington and Ward Model Rail Society stand, I think this is a really good idea. But actually, they've got a test track here and they actually test any model trains you actually buy here at the, the event today, and all they want is like a small donation for the Might and Hospice 
if you can. I think that is a really good idea. And we've got the Colossus Rail HST down there. And I believe that that is a Chiltern. 170 and children don't actually have any 170s anymore. They all went to West Midlands Railway. Big American trains. This way, it was definitely attention to detail. And that's like the cable car system. That's cool. Very detailed. Leaf too. Right, after I went to the uh, Rail Riders event in Crewe at the Heritage Centre back in June, I've got the stand here at Wally. Still at the Salon. So what else might tempt me? Land yards and badges. Right, that's two. That, that would be nice in my uh, allotment. Huh. I go hot in my allotment. Even better. <laughs> Do you brew them? I try to now and again, but I say, I mean, usually when I'm brewing to get them, when all the lads are coming around, is it? It's usually a big, big barrels, too much. the Scandinavian Railway Society. Look at them ones. They're quite interesting compared to the ones that we get in the UK. Right, I'm in the West Hill work and work site so shop area. So they've got local 1413. They do. They're cool. 
I'm at the junction box stand and they have some second hand models 66079 some of the steam ones these they're not bad prices to be honest with you class 47 especially for some of these Hornby ones I don't think these are bad prices Oh, 30 pound that's not too bad some class 37s and some more down there as well right they're showing off some uh, models down here at the uh, world and model railways stand there's also an exhibition a free workshop in there but i'm not gonna do it but i see a northern 158 a transport for Wales 158, a Southwest Trains, then now now know they're now known as Southwestern Railway 158. But ah, oh, I'll say where's the East Midlands one? It's an East Midlands Trains one, and obviously they're now East Midlands Railway, and obviously a former Riva Trains to Wales one. But Southwestern Railway 450, still not rid of a Southwestern Railway. And uh, there's a freight ride in Nike down there, so yeah, they've got a few different ones. These are really, really small models, these ones are, compared to some of the others. They've got the Climate Hero 66 on display there, 66004. Not sure what that one is though. Maybe anybody knows what that logo is, let me know in the comments. Well, this is the uh, primary model stand, just as you come in. I didn't see these bits out because it was really busy, but it's quieting down in this section a bit now. But they have the New Haven Steam locomotive on the display, 154. They're doing all the different bits and pieces you can buy. Do you like the uh, trees? Maybe you do add to detail. Right, I'm right near to the close of the. Uh entrance to the uh, exhibit now I've, I've done like loads and loads of laps now it's it's come up to three o'clock now actually so another three hours after the event and it's quieting down a bit the Halford uh, model center stand i didn't yet look at because it was busy earlier so i'm gonna have a look at this stand now also i've been dying to see the uh, one of the model rail there on king's cross but it's been packed out all day i might actually aim for that hopefully towards the end of the show because i really do want to see that one I might have to wait like maybe like 10 15 minutes to like get a place up front but that stand is really busy at least i went to the rail rider stand though because i saw them at uh crew when i picked purchased this lanyard and badge where's the badge there's the badge for seven pounds not too bad oh so here's the uh Hereford, uh model center stand Always a bit. They are quite similar to some of the other stalls, but it's nice to have a look because now it's quieting down. I don't recall having a look at the TMC stand area, so what they got on here? Freight line and Nighty. Oh, that's a cute teddy bear. That overrated steam train again. I think it's a birthday card that is. Some bags. 47 there. And some more model railways. But these ones are actually discounted on the Black Friday sale. Right, what I sent down here. World of Railways Plus <laughs> stand. Somewhat near the front. Got a free modeling magazine that's worth £4. That was good. Can even see me see myself in the shop. That was good. I do remember this uh Book stand from last year. I do. I'm tempted to buy a new one of them uh, locomotive books.
I am. But also, I don't think I should. Because I kind of lost track where I was in the uh, summer. Alfred Steam Railway stand. They've got a few go across the show. Keep seeing them everywhere now. Well, about four hours later after it's quieting down a bit I'm at the wrong Balfour Junction rail honestly I was wanting to see this about four hours ago and it was crowds of people around here I'm going to do the King's Cross one I reckon very very soon because that was busy there's about an hour and 40 left of the event so it is quieting down slowly let's see if we've got any model trains on this then there's some stable but I don't see any moving at the moment When I was showing the uh, Hornby stand area, I forgot to show the uh, magazine uh, section. So these are the magazines. Exclusive Hornby 2024 calendar worth £266. On that one. Now that, I've just spotted this. That looks interesting. April 27th to April 28th, Model World Live. Now that is thinking about me. Right, I'll show you properly what's in this bag. Bag. I'll put a picture on the screen now or over it. But I'm getting the ear from uh, while it's just come to six o'clock, so it's kicking out time now. Stayed the whole just under nine hours on my feet. Well, actually, 
few breaks here and there to sit down. But great event at Wally on the Saturday. So I'm going to film the outro uh, here. I do hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm just waiting for the hot chocolate at the Starbucks now. So yeah, if you want to become a member of the channel for some more exclusive perks, there's a join button down there. Like the vlog if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, some feedback would be appreciated. If you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing, it's free. And have the bell of all notifications so you don't miss any future videos or live streams. Right from me here at Wally. Take care everybody. Bye all, peace out. I'm going to go catch a train. Home.